is how I decided which grad school to go to. Okay, it wasn't quite that simple, but it is how I settled on the final option. In this video, I walk you through each of the pivotal considerations I made when choosing a master's program to break into the data science field. You'll hear about which programs I was considering, and at the end of the video, I'll reveal which school I ended up picking. You could just go look at my LinkedIn to see where I went, but that wouldn't be quite as fun, would it? I get an avalanche of questions about which master's degree you should do to become a data scientist. People ask me if they should do a master's in data science, in statistics, in computer science, the list goes on and on. I also get asked which specific one people should choose, like which school. Honestly, I've only done one technical master's degree myself, so I don't think I can get really granular with the specific school choices. Maybe, just maybe if I get enough input from my peers, We'll make a collab video with our best advice on how to choose a specific school for your master's degree. Since we'll have a couple different perspectives, I think this would give it enough meaning rather than just coming from me. Every person has a unique situation and there's some really good reasons and really bad reasons to do a degree. I don't think a master's makes sense for most people. And I talk about the benefits and the drawbacks of choosing a master's versus a bootcamp versus a certificate in the video that I linked above and below. Since I can only speak from my experience, I figure it could help a lot of people if I walk through some of the considerations that I made when pursuing my own degree. For the record, I'm a master's in global commerce and one in computer science, but I think the commerce degree is out of the scope of this video, so I won't really touch on it here. First, why did I choose to get another master's degree? Clearly, I wanted people to call me Master, Master Ken, and I'm greatly disappointed by all of my peers for not properly addressing me. For me, I knew that learning technical skills was important, but at the time I didn't believe I was capable of structuring a curriculum to learn on my own. Since college, I'd gotten really good at the formal academic way of learning, and I thought that would be the most efficient way for me to learn the new necessary tools. I also knew that paying for school would be a good motivator for me to make the most out of my courses. $150,000 worth of student loan debt later, and I'm not as confident about that one. A second question always comes up. If I wanted to do data science, why did I choose a master in computer science rather than a master's in data science? I did it for the technical clout. I'm only sort of joking. I felt that coming from a business background and an economics undergrad, I would really need to prove my pure technical skills to break into data science. I've also always been extremely interested in entrepreneurship and startups. I thought that if I took some of the more technical computer science classes, I'd be able to build my own apps or websites if I needed to in the future. As it turns out, I'm pretty garbage at any form of development, so the idea was a bit of a dud. The last reason that I chose CS over data science was at the time, data science programs were extremely new. It was very difficult to bet which ones would be credible and what would best prepare me for the real world. If I was applying now and was completely focused on data science, I might have made an entirely different choice as a lot of these programs are more established. Still, a lot of thought would have to go into that decision for me. Okay, now, how did I choose the specific school and the program? After I settled on computer science, there were only about four to six programs that would let me do a master's degree without having an undergraduate degree in the field of study, computer science. I can't remember all of the program names, but I think there was one at DePaul, UChicago, Syracuse, uh, UPenn, where Tina Huang uh, went, and I think she might have a video of very similar to this coming uh, out about her experience there. Um, and the rest, I, I was too lazy to do the research on. So I'll, I'll let you guys uh, Google that one. This single choice really cut down the consideration set for me. The next thing that was important to me was geography. So I narrowed down the search to just schools in Chicago, DePaul and UChicago, and to UPenn. Unfortunately, I missed the deadline for UPenn, so I'd have to wait a full year to apply, and I didn't want to do that, so I crossed it off the list. And then, there were two. Between DePaul and UChicago, there were some major differences, so I weighed them pretty carefully. For DePaul, there was no GRE requirement, and I had a tremendous amount of flexibility in the electives that I could choose. I could take ML courses, I could take hardcore dev courses, uh, you know, I could take simulation or optimization courses, and that was really appealing to me. UChicago, on the other hand, was far more prestigious a school with a far stronger network. 
Overall, the options seemed pretty even to me, and this is when I flipped the coin. The funny thing about flipping a coin is that you immediately know what you want to do while it's in the air. I use this technique for making decisions far more often than, than I would like to admit. Like clockwork, before the coin landed in my hand, I knew where I wanted to end up. Before I reveal what I chose, I think it's important to note that any of these options would have likely been fine. I've studied at four different universities at this point, some very prestigious and some pretty much unknown. And I found that the quality of education at all these places was very similar. The students, not so much, but that's a story for another time. In the technical realm, the name brand of the school is far less important than the skills that you learn. This is unlike consulting and investment banking, where the school brand is really, really important. As long as you have access to internships and research opportunities, and you actually capitalize on them, I think you'll be able to pivot almost any place into a career. Okay, back to my decision. In reality, at the time, I was far too lazy to take the GRE. That was a lot of time studying that I just I didn't want to do. I was also a little, a little miffed at, at UChicago for not accepting my GMAT score, which I had done to get into my previous master's program. And I did pretty decent on, you know, small flex there. Obviously I ended up choosing DePaul and I think it worked out really well for me. I did quite a bit of work with the Entrepreneurship Center and one of my courses required me to post my first video to YouTube. So in a very strange way, the choice I made then created the domino effect that brought us here together now. Whoa. This video was just a really long way of saying, look for what's important for you in a school. If your biggest focus is on landing a FANG job, look at which programs had the best placement into those companies. If you wanna learn computer vision for like space or astronauts or something, find a school with the best program for that. I obviously use the process of elimination to find something that worked for me and you can too. Thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey. You might see some other videos over here. I highly recommend checking them out if you enjoyed this content.